This is my all wood tricopter. It's made out of quarter inch wood. I know a lot of people said that they didn't think quarter inch wood would be good for making a tricopter, but I found wood at Michael's. It's quarter, it's like four ply. Actually, it's one, two, three, four, maybe five ply. It's stiff, and it's really, really stiff. I mean, this stuff is good. There's not a lot of flex in there. So let me cut down on the weight. So the frame by itself is maybe 10 ounces, nine and a half ounces. And then I've got an Argicopter on there, Argipilot. I've got the um, anti-vibration mount on it. I've got three 30 amp ESCs, Sunny Sky, 22-16-12 KV-800s. GPS on it, 10 and a half inch props, well 10 inch by 4.5 inch props, GoPro mount on the front, then underneath in the back, Velcro for the battery mount, got a 12 volt connector, JST connector coming off so I can put the lights on it eventually, servo mounts up here, so this thing is really one, two, three, four parts, it goes together pretty easy. The uh, yaw mechanism is just servo attached there, pivots around the uh, carbon fiber arm. So you can get yaw. Works real smooth, it's pretty stable. A little bit of play, not that much. For the landing gear, I basically just drilled half inch holes. And these are half inch dials, so it sits nice and flat. And that's about it. It flies pretty stable. The whole idea behind this was the reason I didn't go with the standard tricopter with um, the arms that split out in the Y and the half inch wood. I wanted something that just was one piece, was going to be a little bit more crash resistant and just fit in the backpack. So the idea is I pop these uh, propellers off. This thing is 12 inches wide on this side and slides into a backpack. So I'm going to show some video of it flying, but the idea is the next video is going to be I'm just going to throw this thing in the backpack, go for a ride and take some video. Okay, GPS has got a lock. This off a little bit above 50%. Well, it's pretty stable. I need to retrim it out. Cause I got a different battery on it and I changed around uh, the way the mount is. I'm gonna slide around. That's full right, full left. Like I said, it's not super zippy. That's quick enough. I'll probably still do a little trimming with the pids. Let's see. All right, that's GPS lock. Let's see, she's gonna sit still. Hands off. Alright, that's GPS hold. I still gotta do some trimming on the altitude. It's holding position pretty good. The altitude still bounces a bit. But, like I said, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna do the whole pull test because I don't have nice landing gear and the tolerance is pretty tight. I feel like getting my hand chopped off by a propeller. Back to stabilize. She's pretty docile.